from like an atheist world view that what's wrong today, right now, is going to be wrong in a hundred years time. I have no time for atheists. I don't believe it. I don't know how, I don't, there's not a person that can be an atheist. It's impossible. If you have a feel. Madam, what's your purpose in life? Be a good person. How do you be a good person? Can I give you a free translation of the Quran? How, tell me, tell me, elaborate, madam, elaborate. I'm tired, I was, I've been in the cold, madam, I feel cold. Thank you. Let me, let me, let me give you a translation of the Quran, madam. What do you believe, madam? Very quickly. Do you prescribe any specific religion? Um, you know, I found a good guru. I, I studied Islamic banking for about six years because I believed in the economic principle of welfare. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was very close to the material and I lived in Saudi. Do you know, do you know what zakat is? Yeah, yeah. You know zakat. If you look up um, in the time of Umar ibn Abdulaziz, mm -hmm. we eradicated poverty. Did I you know, know that? I know that. And one of the ancient scholars that I really, my favorite ancient scholar is a scholar called Ibn Khaldun. Okay, and yeah, if yeah. If you read his work on wealthy, exactly that. Mm. Eradicate the poverty. It's the only economical it system that's done that, yeah. Back to yeah. the project, to the greater good. What a wonderful way to do Why are you not Muslim, madam? Because right now, you're referencing scholars and theologians, but the reality of it is they're quoting the principles taught by the Creator. Yeah, so just by 2.5% of your annual wealth, we eradicate poverty. So why don't you submit your will to the one who created the, this particular law? I don't know if I'm worthy enough. But I, I, I can tell you, you are. Shall I tell you why? Because whenever someone starts off with, I don't think I'm worthy enough, it shows that level of humility that is beloved to God, to Allah. And this conversation, whenever they say, I don't know if I'm worthy enough, it always ends up with them becoming Muslim. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think your work is amazing. Because you know what you're doing? I think you're amazing. You're being in service to somebody. And that is the greatest thing that you Madam, do. don't leave me. To be in service What's the... for you to, is the, the greatest gift. It's what we're supposed to do. It's I... the thing that makes us feel whole, yeah? I think, <laughs> leaving that to one side, the greatest gift is entering paradise. The greatest gift is being with the creator of the heavens and earth, knowing that you're never going to feel ill. Um, there's no need to sure. for food and so on and so forth. These and that's keeping your eyes on God. And in a sense... Who is, tell me about God, my girl. That's also keeping an eye on yourself. Tell me about God. It's your moral compass. It's your guide. It's your soul. It's your... Now, it's your, your moral purpose. compass, my moral compass, isn't it subjective? Isn't it? Can't it be corrupted by the environment? Of it is, but, it, but in in the beginning, it, we're all connected. Now, we're all from the same. How do we purify purpose. our moral compass? So that we're all in the same space. How do we purify God, it? God, I wish I knew. I can tell you, yeah, if you humor me, right? It's by following divine guidance. So right now, <clears throat> when I feel like oh. I want to marry eight women or I want to fornicate with um, seven women. Yeah, My moral compass has become a bit corrupted. I just want to follow my desires. Yeah, But then if I'm like, wait, in the Quran it says, I can only do it in wedlock. Yeah, I have to give them their rights. My rights are legislated, their rights are legislated. Um, I have to approach her father. And there's all these kind of steps. But then, you know, this is respect. You might even say, oh, it's common sense. But common sense is uncommon. Does it make sense? So if I'm my moral compass, like, look, can you tell me that from like an atheist world view, that what's wrong today, right now, is going to be wrong in a hundred years' time? I have no time for atheists. I don't believe that there's such a thing. Mm. How, I don't know how, I don't, there's not a person that can be an atheist. It's impossible. <clears throat> If you have a feeling, you cannot be an atheist. Mm. It's, it's ah, to I understand, understand where I you're coming from. I don't get it. I really mm. don't. So now, but that, that, that's my point. So that's because you're, you're someone who believes in your creator. Yeah. Yeah? But now it's about would God, the creator, not God, Allah, the creator, 
put you on the surf with no guidance. Be like a vacant landlord. We have the guidance. Where is the guidance? We just don't follow it. The guidance Thank is you. In, <laughs> hint, hint, hint. In the teachings. In, yeah. But you know what the guidance is also? Yeah. Inside you. We know what we should be doing for, our, for each other. We know how we should be living. You know lives. what you're just describing now? It's called fitra. Oh, I know fitra. You know you fitra? <laughs> um, a little bit, just a little bit, I speak a little bit. Uh, okay. Do you speak, are you fluent in Arabic? I'm almost there. Okay, why are you not a Muslim? Because I don't think I'm worthy and I'm... Who, who defines the, the worthiness? I'm probably too... I don't know, maybe I still have time. I have time, I'm figuring it out. No, 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 no. I'm no. figuring it out. Okay, right now, you're saying you think you're not worthy. I'm saying you are worthy, yeah? W who's right? Yeah? So right now, let's take it to the scripture. Let's take it back to... I do. I, I, ha I have gone away from scripture and that's where my voice is. I have to go back. Okay. No, 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 no. I have to feel inspired. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing everything that you say. I just need to do the work. Okay. Do you believe that there's one creator? I do believe. Do you believe that Creator sent the Prophet Muhammad as a messenger? I do think that there was a Prophet sent to tell us. Yeah. Do you believe the Quran is the verbatim word of Allah, of God, the Creator, the guidance from the Creator? I do think, I don't only think it's a Quran though, I think that there's versions that is also from the Creator. You know, you give, me, give me, give me, give me an example. When you hear things like God is living in you, mm. As you, I very much agree with that. What does that mean? It's from another religion, but it means. What does it mean? It means that the Creator lives within you, as you, as you live your life. So. With His guidance. No, 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 okay. madam, madam. I, I, I wish I could be here for longer, but I. Can't. But j j just very quickly, just to address that point. What you said sounds really nice, but when you get deep into it, it's like, what does it really mean? And then it's like, is God part of you and me? Is God in, within us? Like, this is leading to kind of pantheism. So right now, if... Pardon? Okay. Yeah. It's interesting. I, I, will, I, I, will, I, will, I will promise to do some work. Are you always here? Um, okay, every single night. No, this is strange. I shouldn't be here this late. I just ah. had a really... Qatar of Allah. Allah ah, wanted us to have this conversation. And yeah, we're normally here on Sunday, Saturdays and in the afternoon. Day. In the afternoons? Always up and down. There's a tent there. Have you seen the yes, tent? Yes, I've seen the tent. Why have you not approached the tent, madam? Because I love... You know, I don't know. I madam, mean, I fear... If I, you're I, at the tent, I will come and say hello. I What's fear for you. Name? Ridwan. Ridwan. My name is Cheryl. Cheryl. Yes. Cheryl, 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 it's Cheryl, Cheryl. Cheryl. It's lovely to me, but I'm worried about you. Don't be worried. And I bless you for worrying me for me. Wallahi, Thank wallahi. you. Thank you. Because that's the connection we need. Mm. I'll do some homework. I'll see you at the tent. Yeah. Blessings. If, if, if I'm not there, speak to the man with the anyone else. Especially the ginger, bro. The ginger bearded man. Yes, yeah, speak to him, speak to him. I think you guys would enjoy your conversation. I've seen him, I've seen him. Take care of Thank you so much, madam. Allahu Akbar. SubhanAllah. May Allah guide her to the truth, to Islam. Um, SubhanAllah. I don't know when the, it started rule coding, but she was talking about studying the Islamic economics. She agrees with it. She was talking about living in a Muslim country. She's talking highly of Islam. Um, she doesn't think she's worthy to become a Muslim. And I think she's got a lot of good Islamic knowledge. She's learning Arabic, subhanAllah. She probably knows more Arabic than me. And but what happens is, if we don't hold tight to the Quran and Sunnah, if we don't hold tight to the perfect scripture revealed by the creator of the heavens and earth, by Allah, then we start picking and we start taking other things that sounds nice and goes with our desires. And I'm worried for her and I pray that Allah guides her because it was like a lot of the times, like I said to her, when someone starts off with that statement, I don't think I'm worthy, 
um, it shows that you're valuing Allah and the majesty of this amazing responsibility of being a Muslim. <sighs> SubhanAllah, man. man. <laughs> I just feel like it was late in the evening. She's in a rush. But Alhamdulillah, make dua for her. I really, really pray that Allah guides her and she benefits from the Quran. And she comes back to reading and spirituality because she said, look, she's kind of gone away from it. And again, this is what happens. Don't delay. We should really um, make the most of the time we have. Assalamu alaikum wa